One of the things that Pete fell in love with early on was that feeling of vast scope, you know, seeing forever and being able to move the camera freely in that environment. Um, and that posed several challenges for us. One was we needed to think about how we were doing our sets in a different way from the way we usually do, which is, um, you know, design everything and build everything and up to a certain point and then everything beyond that is matte painted which tends to restrict the camera motion. Um, and usually they're fairly expensive shots to do, so on any given film there's only a handful of those. And Pete wanted to be able to do that everywhere. So we knew we had to come up with a different way. So we started looking at USGS terrain um, to extend our sets with and instead of having to design it or map paint it. Um, and that was interesting. It, that afforded an opportunity to think about how we did previs in a different way, where we could actually do location scouts for real, where we could go out and, you know, fly the camera through this USGS data and find the backgrounds that we wanted to use. So, and, and actually use it from that area so it was authentic. Um, the other thing that we needed to do differently is how we did clouds, because Typically, they were also matte painted and also had the same restrictions. Um, they also needed to happen after lighting, um, oftentimes, so they get the, the light color right on them. And we didn't have time for that on the film. We needed to move everything up earlier in the schedule. So we um, designed a way to be able to do volumetric clouds, which we'd done in small quantities in the past, but they were hard to work with, hard to light, um, very expensive. And so we completely reworked how we did our volumetric effects and were able to get really nice looking clouds that were easy to light and easy to, to move in the scene and to become almost like actors where we needed them to, where um, they really become character elements in the film as these storms um, form. Um, and then I think the third big challenge for this film is our, the water effects, especially the river, um, which is always difficult for us no matter how many times we do it um, because it takes a lot of finessing to get them to look believable. It was really interesting watching Pete grow as a director through this film from, you know, the early stages of being a new director, finding his way and finding his voice and trying to figure out what was important to him until towards the end where he was really clear about what he wanted and um, knew exactly why. Um, he was always so kind through the entire process. Um, he is he's very passionate about everything he does and his enthusiasm is infectious. And he's always laughing um, so it's, it's, he's really a lot of fun to work with besides the fact that he, he knows, you know, in a soul what he wants. He, he definitely leaves a lot of room for people to bring creative suggestions to the process.